Hello everybody! Today's video is all about Griffin getting his new adaptive bike. If you are new here, um, Griffin has Angelman Syndrome and I believe the Angelman Clinic in Denver submitted him for a grant, I believe, um, to get a new adaptive bike and he got it. And um, we have new motion coming to the house to measure him, fit him, and talk about what bikes are available for Griffin. And our physical therapist is supposed to come too to help us navigate what bike would work best for Griffin. Um, I have never tried an adaptive bike. I have no idea what this is gonna look like. I'm just hoping that um, it goes well. And I'm hoping that the bike is usable for him. Um, I don't know, but yeah, so I will uh, film what I can and then if I, I can only film a little bit because I don't want to interrupt the, the, like if you've been following us I don't like to really interrupt doctors or appointments because it's really important for me to focus But I will film what I can and then update you guys at the end on what they said. Hi Griffin Just got home from school. He's gonna be home for a little bit Hi, come on They'll be here soon. We're gonna fit you for your new bicycle. Oh, your gear is all fallen What do you want to tell me? Why won't it turn on? Did you? I charged it last night. I charged it last night, Griffin. What'd you do? What'd you do? <laughs> and then it was plugged in all night. It's mm. all right. I hope we're not having issues with it. That would really be a butt if that happened. I don't know about you guys, but we have sometimes sometimes tablets will just shut off on us, especially yeah, app. It yeah, came it came back on. Yeah, I don't know what's going Maybe on. you just press the button too much. I don't know. I'll have it charge. We'll have it charge. Are you excited to try your new bike? Are you excited to have a new bicycle? Oh, hugs. Okay, hug the camera. <laughs> hug the. You can't touch the camera though. Okay. Um. Oh, they'll be here in a few minutes, and hopefully it goes well. Okay, new motion. Just pulled up outside. Exciting, Griffin! Okay, so I'm sorry, I couldn't film anything. Um, it was a crazy appointment. Griffin was not having it. Uh, PT came up a little later because uh, traffic. So it was just kind of chaotic. Uh, they just left, <laughs> and Griffin just left to go back to school. So we are getting a bicycle. <laughs> can't, can't remember what it's called. Um, but yeah, when Will comes home, he might remember. But I'll show you a picture. Um, so this is, let me see. This is the bicycle he's going to get, even in, in green. He will have a different handlebar. It'll look like a regular bicycle handlebar. And then there will be a bar that goes to the front, that goes to the back, so the caregiver has a way to steer and to help brake, too. Um, I'll show you it again so you guys can really see it. And then there will be two uh, seat belts. And then there will be a, um, I can't remember what it's called, but a thing that goes on, on under the bicycle that you could bring it inside to practice with like during the colder months. So like next winter, um, if we wanna bring it in for therapy or whatnot, uh, he can practice indoors. I don't know if we'll do that or not. Um, I have high hopes, but you know, life, life gets in the way and stuff, but we'll have that. Um, he had to get the small bike and it, it will only last probably a few years. And yes, that is disappointing because when what we found out about the grant that Griffin has, um, it's a one-time grant. Like he will never be able to qualify for it again in Colorado. So the next bicycle he needs, we will have to fundraise for. And as I've gathered, they get more expensive as they get older. Um, but... This will be a good indicator if we need to fundraise in the future for a bike. Like, if he can do this, this will last him probably till he's, what is he, five, probably seven, maybe eight if we're lucky. Um, so it'll, it'll be a good indicator if we need to push for this in the future. Uh, I just don't know. I don't know how Griffin is. Sometimes Griffin is so adaptable, so willing to work, and sometimes he is not. He is not. He is like, I'm not doing this. How dare you? Not gonna happen. And, um, I just don't know if he's gonna like bike, bike, bicycling, biking. Uh, but I have high, high hopes, and I do know that um, a couple parents get like the tandem bicycles where the kids just sit there and then the parents bike. I know a couple other moms or dads uh, get bicycles with like a little motor on it so they can motor around uh, with the bicycle. So 
that could be something we want in the future for Griffin if he doesn't have the passion for riding a bike. I, I really want him to. I think it'd be so cool if he could. I, the only thing is with here in Colorado, we live on lots of hills. And hills are hard because one, there's gravity. He could fly down. And two, getting back up the hills. If he's not willing to do the work, then I will, my husband, will have to do that. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, we should have the bike within two to three weeks. Two to three weeks, guys. Um, that's just so, so exciting. Um, so that is that for this part of the video. And the next, what we're gonna be filming is my big kids have a steam night at school where they're gonna be shooting a rocket off and doing an egg test where they drop an egg from the, from the, the ceiling or whatever, the roof. Um, that is tonight. I'm so excited for that. Um, wanted to just, you know, yeah. be with my kids and see what they've been doing at school. And um, I'm going to take you guys along with us. That is next. And yeah, mom's tired. <laughs> we're getting close to the end of the night where we're going to go to steam night. Music therapy is finishing up right now. And we're going to be leaving. We're going to take um, Harrison, um, Wynn, and Posey. We did try to get a sitter um, so Will could go, but we couldn't get one. So it's just... The way of a big family and the way of special needs family where we just can't do it and we know the boys would be would have a hard time in a huge big crowd and um, We wouldn't be able to enjoy what the kids projects they did. I guess Posey did a project for preschool and then Wynn did an egg drop like I said before And then Harrison made some kind of rocket. So I'm hoping my my fear is that we won't be able to see everything because I have three places I have to be um we will see. I don't know. I've never done a steam night, so this is gonna be interesting. We're here at the school for steam night. It starts in like 15 minutes. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait to see. I hope we get to see your egg drop and your rocket and your picture you made. Yes, Jonah. Oh, your friend, yep. Oh, and guess what? What? Emmy's coming. Woo, you're gonna meet Emmy. And there's ice cream. So there's really beautiful artwork. We're looking for posies right now. She said she made a butterfly. So maybe we... It's got colors on it. Okay, we're looking. It's got pink on it. Okay, we're looking. Harrison's helping those win. Look at we found some of Harrison's artwork. Very nice. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You, I didn't know you had artwork in this. Look at that. Hold on, pose. Winnie. This is Sophia. Oh wow. So it's so nice, Harrison. I love it. All right, we're still looking for everybody else. Winnie, do you know what you made? I bet you did. I swear to goodness, I bet you did. You just don't know. Is that yours? That's yours? Are you sure? I don't see your name on it. It's supposed to be in. Oh, cool. Oh, in it? Oh. Is your name in it? No. Yes. Oh, there's your name. You're right. There's my first grade buddy. Great job. So this is the, your rocket. <gasps> this, that's, that's what we made. So cool. Awesome. All right, we found Posey's artwork. It's beautiful. It's a pink one. It's amazing. I got pink on it. I got free on it. You got? I love it. No one chose Posey to win. It's okay. It's beautiful anyway. It's still gorgeous. I'm so proud of you guys. They're all amazing. I love pink. I know. I loved your rocket. I loved all of it. So we just got home. I'm so proud of the kids. I was a little confused on steam night and how it was going to work. I thought <laughs> my kids don't aren't very detailed in how they explain things to me. I thought they actually were going to test an egg drop off the roof today. I thought they actually were going to launch some kind of rocket. No, it's not how it went. Um, it was just kind of like an art form of those things. So like they made a rocket out of paper and they made like this cup thing for the egg and it was all like in theory. You know what I mean? So proud of my kids. Um, learning as a parent, first team night. I am. I don't remember. I didn't. I was homeschooled, so remember, I don't have any of this in my knowledge of from school. So, Will doesn't have any. Never had a steam night either. So, I don't know. But yeah, we're gonna end the vlog here. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, follow us on all my social media, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget, guys, you are wonderful. Bye.